Bible said, by faith, Jacob blessed the children of Joseph when he was dying. He did when he was leaning on his arm. And that became their life. That became the story. It became their destiny. But I'm reading that. And now going back to the New Testament. And I saw that in the New Testament, Paul was talking to Timothy. Look at what he said to Timothy. In Timothy, 2 Timothy, I think 2 Timothy chapter 1. See what he said. And this was the text, not just in the up to the book of the book of First and second Timothy, I think he was, he kept, he kept, he kept remembering it. But in chapter 1 of second Timothy, he came out so quickly in the reason. So therefore, I put you in remembrance that you do what? You do what? Steer off the gift of God. Which is in thee. By what? By what? By the putting on of my hands. Even if it became dormant, it is there. If it appears, as if it is now lying low. The Paul is saying, I wanted to start with that. But if you read on and on, you will see him responding to this again and again and again as if there was an impartation that was placed on Timothy for the journey ahead. I want to pray this afternoon to God. We must let us conclude this meeting without placing something on your life that we position you for your duty in the name of Jesus Christ. I discover that men like Joshua ever before Joshua chapter 1 book In the book of Numbers, when God was dealing with uh, uh, Moses, God said to Moses, You are not entering the land of Romans. You won't die. And Moses is that of Romans. He said, Oh God, whom do you choose? Whom do you choose? And the Lord pointed to that. You remember? And then he said to him, Mr. Moses said, Look, this is a man. I want you to impart him for that day. I want to take you the honor of food on your own him. I want you to do something that will make him ready for the day. You know, Moses did. And Moses was still alive. But as far as God is concerned, Moses is a dying man. Joshua is a man of the future. So when Joshua died, when Moses died, do you know that there was no ceremony that the God only came to say, Moses, my servant is now dead. You are right. You move. But what is it to move? There was already an invitation of the idol. Our brothers may be announcing for some of you. You are going to be filled with those who come from Pakistan in the Holy Spirit. And all of that will be done this afternoon by God's grace. But I want you to know that for your journey, the kind of thing that you will become in God's purpose is an invitation for it. So when the angel came and woke up, brother uh, Elijah and said, Rise and eat. 
Antidote said, there was a cake. Do you remember that? There was a cake that had been taken on the fire from above. And they gave him the And they gave him the gift of it. What kind of food can somebody eat and for 40 days it will not have been used? Eh? The Bible says, and he went to the length of that food for 40 days and to the mount. So you're saying that God can give somebody something. That in trouble in the case of God to be here. Is it possible that as young as you are, I began to say to you yesterday, don't think you are too young for God to say what He's saying to you. And you know what God is saying to you? Maybe a book, may not be a book, maybe a book. For it, he must to go for it. So this is We are at the crucial point of what? In addition. Now I need a, a feeling that I need to guide very quickly. Because from now, what is the teaching? What matters now? Is what? Eh? In addition. We don't, we don't describe what it will be. We cannot particularly say this is this, this is this, but we are coming to have on now. We are helpful with the thing to release something into your spirit, into your life, that will match you out among your colleagues. But let me guide you in the next 10 minutes because I feel that I must talk to you so that you do this. When you come to the point of impartation, there are certain things you need to talk about so that you don't miss. When Elijah was going, Do you remember that he told Elisha, he said, Now God is taking me away from you. What do you want me to do for you? Do you know what's point? Who knows the point we are reading now? That's a point of invitation for that one. Whatever Elijah was given to Elijah for all the years they were chosen together, would have amounted to nothing if it was not impacted for you and me. Are you hearing me? So he said, what do you want me to give you? And this young man knew. He said, look, I know what you do, who you are. Is to speak. Can I have the double portion of your spirit? I this picture for my own. And the brothers are, you can't get it. You are asked for what? A hard thing. Unless you see when I'm taking up the wounded. So at the point of impartation is also the point of concentration. I know meeting before we got but the spirit of God was said to me constantly during the week I said. This week is important for your life. Be attentive to everything. And I know that immediately after that week, a permanent body does not appear. Is it what we do?
doing, we are not we are not looking for. We are not looking for trying to do it. We are not stopping somebody out there. No, there is something that is happening that honestly speaking, we couldn't do our way. But yes, I know that we were in that meeting with everybody. And all that for a casual, you didn't see. I want to pray. We have come to a critical point. Lord, don't want to pray. You know, he saw what finally finished him was a five minute. I use that to see to tell you that something again five minutes early. You get to me? Supposing as Jacob was there telling me, he saw I. Something would change. It is possible that God will have to be arranged on this But at this time, something would change. Unfortunately, it came after what? By the time he arrived, something was finished. Something in Anna had taken place. Something that will permanently locate him as he did out. And it was mislocated for her. It won't happen to you in the name of Jesus. At the point of impartation for your journey, we will speak about what is currently available. We are not speaking about something you can immediately use. One of the things that may be a mistake for you is that you, you are a man only focusing on the present. You may be thinking that the most important issue are the current issues. No. For a man of a future, Current issues are nothing. It's people that look ahead of time. Can I guide you that as we pray today? Don't be frivolous. If there be anything that you have done that is not correct, like she was pointed at wrong relationship. Maybe you started a courtship and every time you have so much overused the, the, the young sister. You think that even marriage is no more exciting to you because there is nothing in marriage that you have not done. And now you are sitting in a place where everyone is considering your freedom. Do you think that that means quick, quick restitution? We can repent and say, God, if you be becoming my destiny because of this wrong thing I've done, have mercy on me. Do you not know that at the time Israel has missed it? Do you know what he began? He said, Hey, that's what he used to do, that's what he used to do. He collected my bad right. It was then we were here. And right for a man of God. We didn't know the point of invitation sometimes reveals unconfessed sin. Can I ask you tonight? I mean, this morning, this afternoon, to do something about that so that we don't make any mistake. Do you know that the point of invitation came? And Ruby, Ruby did something. I don't remember what Ruby did. 
He explained with his sister's wife. And the Bible said, Israel had it. But he didn't say anything. So on this day, when they were now to be imparted for their view, look at this way forward, expecting that the good man will begin to release blessings of the first one. And the man took his mind and said, Reuben, at the beginning of my strength, excellency of strength, but unstable and not one. You will not say, ah! And as he began to speak, everybody was surprised, ah! Why are you doing this to that? He climbed the couch. Wow! You know, for me, as a medical student, I ran quickly to go and see the Bible. And I found that Ruby did the only one. And it was reported only in one Bible verse. And nobody reported it again to the until that day. He partitioned for the future. Demands that the wrong path must be corrected. Are we together? Are we together? Impatient for what lies ahead. Demands that we sweep away, sweep out. Means that you feel on the carpet. We need to deal with that. When you say, God is two sons, you are going to say, like this, and Jacob, what did Jacob do? He did this. Ah! He said, Dad, you are making a mistake. Put your hand here, put your hand. He crossed it and he said, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. You see this man, I said, I will put him God. What is it that God sees? And he will not be able to release the divine blessing on the man's life. That thing has to be dealt with now. And that will be approved now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am looking at this point. And you need it to be helped. When we read it out, can I push it? My uh, brother, having read off a point, he was saying, Look, when you meet the hardship in your life, you will not find rest. And it was good that he was not going to view who most of your years have been wasted. You know, sometimes I we talk about the discipleship to old people. They come to the disciples. They are completed. He said, I said, yes, sir. said, what would I do with this man? 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 I'm like, you. If anything was spoiled, it's not much. God can take you from here and refocus your destiny and make you what you ought to be. Who could be able to remember that anything went on before? Take that advantage, Father. Oh, we help you in the name of Jesus. Because invitation has to come, as they gave Elijah that meal to eat for four days, four nights, he went in the cycle. I don't know how we're going to be there. But I'm begging God to release something to your life that not in you know, 40 days, 40 nights, if it's possible, 40 years, you will go in time. It means that this kind of impartation for your duty never grows moldy and refreshed every day. It means that God releases that into your life, it is serviceable. It will be renewed and refreshed 
but it's ready to tell you for where you are going. So we take this few minutes of prayer. And this meeting from now, we are beginning now to apply to what we have to Hallelujah. I want every one of you to get you. If you don't just need to take Congress this year, ordinarily. I wish as they had the war of the children of Israel, they were to go back to relocate. That God will pass for you something that is forgivable, something that can carry you a distance. You know, we have talked about marriage. We have talked about marriage. And I pray for the leaders this morning. And every time I pray for you, it's always a God. Their yeah, prayers will not be wrong. Some of you, maybe you don't know. You don't know that marriage is a free And if Satan did not touch you anywhere else, you say there's some bridge. If he got a man in that bridge, whatever that man is ready to become, we aim at a mere dream. There are friends of mine that we, that we, we, we were together. They had great visions. It was used to speak to one another. You didn't get it right at this bridge. You finished. Nowhere. The mission is talking to you. The marriage will not be wrong in the motion. I am not speaking it as instruction to make it a prayer. I'm really praying for you. If God helps us and helps you and your marriages are strong, I know there is hope for Nigeria. The reason why the devil has quickly confused this issue and you see the biggest problem everywhere in the fellowship is this the boyfriend, girlfriend, and this son, this sister, this brother, this one. It's because the devil knows that if he catches you there, Adam was the first man that got me. He took his into a woman and said, and talk and talk and talk, what do I do to cover this man to death? But who is there to he went and lost a right of marriage. And once he did it there, everything was wrong. So this morning, not this afternoon, in preparation for invitation, for this has been talk, let's check ourselves out. Let's pray together. Then it is very We actually talked about homosexuals and all of this, and she was. Because there's no time to meet all, all the emphasis, she left it. But could it be possible that there will be somebody here who is usually the pianist? Sometimes the devil makes you feel like you're safer. Then you keep it you in your head and say, that one at least, you won't be right there. And then you'll be enjoying yourself. Right. So 
sometimes it appears that you are just playing. You play. Can a man play with fire and will not be born? At the point of impatience, you see that as you go to a carpet, you will come up. Oh, people are thinking. If other would just announce and say you are the excellency of the friend and you are the first born soul, the first born life is yours. Hey! Only for him to hear the old man. Hey, open his mouth. Thou shalt not be friend. You climb your father's coach. Before you finish, what did you do, Ruben? Then the next man was Simeon. Simeon said to him, You will be born. You will think that Simeon will be okay. Then the man began, Oh, he just talked and talked and talked and talked and then he landed. He said, Simeon and Levi are brothers. Instrument of growing is in their camp. Oh, may my soul not come at their tent. I will scatter them in, in Jacob. Ah. Why? What they did? When Aina, you read Aina? Aina? Eh? When she went. And God said the same with that man. It was Simeon and Levi. With their wickedness. They went down. And those people have been circumcised. And they are still not in their wound. They went down and slaughtered all of them. When their father asked, If I, Simeon, why did you do this? And she made our sister for granted. Oh, you don't do that. No, no, no. And rage, sporadic action in their life. So the day when impartation for the journey was to take place, think of what is that? This kind of crisis will come. That my soul not be identified with them. Their brothers and their partners in evil. Friends, I just thought that you shouldn't go with any issue under the carpet because the partition for your journey is about to happen. Are you the one who is going to see that? There are two, three sisters that you are the one being and then you make it to fight it. You are so clever. And now, heaven is able to, to impact for your future. That thing will come up unless you quickly confess to God. Because I was joking. I didn't know that I am beginning to start my journey. We need to learn about that together. This afternoon before. Are you the one? Do you believe it was a lesbian? Who made you a lesbian? That's not what God made you. You're a woman. You're not a lesbian. A spirit is not the spirit which we God made you. How did you accept aversion? You must confess it as God. Now that you are about to impact me for my future and for my journey, please deal with it now. Do you know that what I did? Order! You didn't expect anything. But as you that said that, he did the prayer. He said, Yes, do that. It is you, your brothers, will pray. I 
anasimpoka mpoka 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 my mind went back because Buddha is saying every minute that you make a mistake and you start speaking you don't make mistakes you don't even when he you know he has two sons from home to the wedding they were married and he died and they took the girl to wait for the other one and the other one refused to marry her because he doesn't want to raise the son of the dead that one also goes for that one he told the lady wait can you wait for this who has not died and he said no and he refused to give the lady for marriage and put the girl to the dead to be a hallowed and uncle did that and my father was traveling somewhere and then he found to be hard not to say that it was his daughter in law that one being better and he has left the talking of his sister and so when the man that the girl was pregnant she was sick he said he must, he must die he must die go and bring her here for me next I guess they were. I know I'm not right, but I have something to say. say what do you have to say? So the man that has to get her is the father of this baby. If I must die, he also must die. When he brought the baby out, who is the guy that? Oh. You know what he did? He said, I am wrong. She is more righteous than me. I was not who he did. He was not seen to be disgraced. So I thought that it was not because he was seen that made God bless him. It was because he confessed that he was seen. You know what he did? When he did that and fell, he opened the bed and fed the woman and brought the woman back to the house and humbled himself to play the role of a husband to care. And if anything could be remembered from Judah, they would be two sons of that lady. Am I right? So let me ask you. As we pray together, the protection for your journey is about to take place today. God will not go and be describing to you, oh, this oh, the presence of God will go with you from this meeting. I'm not talking about it, but the presence is not only occasionally, it's not the one you feel in fellowship, it will be sent with you everywhere you go in the name of Jesus. So you see, when God imparts his presence to go with the man, he sets him out. You know, I was talking to him about the presence of God that day. I knew, I knew what it is. I knew what it is to travel with the weight of his presence. I knew it. I knew what it means to live on it. Permanent of I actually experienced that I walked in that reality. Most impartation came. For years now, we are all praying, Oh Lord, oh Lord. But when this thing came, oh, something different. Something different. Any time. I move away. And I say, try. You don't need to let me I know. And if I'm a guardian, yes, say, and the presence is there, I can go. In fact, I will bite my tongue and go and sit down. I don't want to think that with anything. Honestly speaking, 
It's not the only news that will be enough. It's like that one. Money is not important. How? No. Is how? No. It's with that issue. And when it's settled on a man's life, not for one week, not for two weeks, not for one year, for years. And it, it is something. Ah, it, you will do it for us. You see, when it happens, when it settles on your life, I'm telling you, God's lighting will no longer be in your different life. Realize that holiness of life is not an activity, it's a life. And it's only possible in the presence of God. When the presence of God departs from a man, it's when it becomes his life. But there is a point at which God's presence goes with a man, then I would go with him. You see, there's a general sense that God is in the world, two or three are gathered together, this day. that's a sense. But there's another sense when a man that carries God's presence enters into a fellowship, you know that somebody has come. There was a man that I noticed in the Bible in the early years. Of an experience. And when I saw that I was God, <laughs> Lord, what do you do to this man? You must do it to him. Discover that if I just go to him and he said, I let Jesus pray. And he opens his mouth. If I don't have up two hours, I don't go to him. Because if I get to him now, even if he just walk, if he just raise the song. I wouldn't know when we would be in that place for an hour. Now, you will not say that you are going to him. God, how is this man like this? Something settled on his life. So, if you must send me your soul, I don't like it to do cookies, send it to you. I need something. In a measure, not ready. That thing is about to happen to you. I'm not looking at the ordinary boys and girls. I'm looking at you as people of the body. And I sense that if we have anything to contribute, is to impact you. To be used by God as channel of impact. To set you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes, we'll prove it. Yeah. Do you think I do? We're doing this. One of our brothers. Let's go back to fellowship and. Uh, they had one Sunday offering for pizza. I said, no, 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 that's not it. No. What do we do with one offering from you? No. What God is impacting into your life is going to affect your generation radically. If we look, but people may say, what is that? Says, Don't worry. Don't worry. Some of you look fine. Later. Some of you people look at it and say, what is that? What is that? What do you know? Don't argue with them. Don't even waste your time arguing with them. Days and years ago. 
when you are, when it shoots you out, it is that is is that what was being done when you are going to the place? But do you know the devil? He already knows something is deeply. Very deeply. deeply. You see him just to fight here and there. And I said, devil, why are you deeply? Why are you deeply? Why are you deeply? Why are you restless? Why do you ignore this meeting? Why do you ignore certain things? How can I ignore this? Can I ignore this? Can I ignore this? Because he also sees a future here. The devil sees the structure of his system, of his good long organization. He sees it and he is fighting his interest. What can I do to make regulars stop this thing? What can I do? Why is he doing this kind of thing now? We have we, we, we have diverted people's attention from this. What is he doing now? We will do it. In the name of Jesus Christ. We know, we know it. God said, don't mock Paul again. How long will you mock Paul? Stop mourning. Heaven is focusing on you. Because something is going to come to your life. But you know this thing God, it will give me long life to see your days. I'm looking forward. When I I'll just sit down as an age and I will see you perform in various places, in various places, in the name of Jesus Christ. We will pray this night and we will look forward to the night. But whatever could be the heathen to any of you, whatever has been swept on the whatever needed to be undressed that you have covered, you have opportunity to open it. You are not opening it to people who will read it. You are opening it in the house. God already loves you as you are here. God already is committed to you and to your progress as you are here. God already desires that you will not be to know what you until he has told you and said concerning your life. That's why you are here. There's nothing to hide now. When you come to the Savior, I say, Savior, please don't fail to call me. That thing that is sticking my, my, my feet, Lord, take me out of it. Lovingly. Lovingly. With compassion. He's going to reach to you again. I am actually the one helping you. To, to, to remove those demons because I have on you. Go pray. And this afternoon, you just have to know it's important. We have been giving water calls since Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but today is happening. If anything is different, bring it up. If any secret is yet to be opened, open it. If any relationship is, is, is a danger to your destiny, cut it. I really appreciate those people that came out the other day when we finished on our marriage and we are taking it seriously. We going to keep praying. Your marriage will not be wrong. But I promise you that I could come for the wedding, each one of you, and I won't, I don't promise God, you go to be there. We are going to celebrate you in the name of Jesus Christ. But for that to happen, that to happen, don't let the partition be the point at which you will be 
Don't let them be crossing out. Don't let them be reshuffling you. See where they move Ruben. Ruben from number one. He didn't land in number two. He didn't land in number three. He didn't land in number four. He didn't even land in number five. Do you know the people that Ruben became classmate with? You don't know. Ruben? Yeah. And half tribe of Manasseh. You don't know. Manasseh. He's not the direct son of Jacob. So Manasseh was not his brother. Was not a Ruben's brother. What is Manasseh to Ruben? He's a nephew. Normally, Manasseh should be calling uncle. And this is not just a war, it's a, a little uncle. Because you can imagine between Ruben and Joseph, there are how many brothers? Ten brothers. You can imagine that the time Joseph was born, Ruben has already become a big man that he could live with his half life. Do you understand now? So actually, Manasseh should be like the last born son of Rupert. But see, see, see what a big man to begin to stumble. With a very, very junior nephew. Oh no. Don't let that happen to you. If you say if you confess that it's God, it's just the people and the people from all right, okay, don't right, you can do that. If you confess, you have to know. As a preparation for this day, Divine impartation for your day. Let's do that. Let's do that. Anything that is not said must be said to Jesus, no? Any habit that is not confessed to you, anything that needed to be open must be done. Any secret behavior, this may be sure that somebody has not. Impregnated somebody in the village and you have not confessed it. And this, you bring it out and say, God, this is me. But I need you to help my life. Let me be sure that no sister is here and you are playing the game. Impartation for your children are here. How can you allow yourself to become body? Let's pray. Let's pray. If you want to stand up, we are praying together. Let's pray together. Are you on the gallery? Are you anywhere? Stand up and let's pray together. Let's pray. Lord, your please say not to call me as thou did That I may be saved from ruin. Save your plea. Save your plea. Oh, as thou did. Bori bushi moye keria. Yuri masamba ya baba kuro bushi abar abali baba.